Welcome to All Signs Tarot. This is a daily love reading for the sign of Gemini for the 7th of March 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Geminis who need to hear these messages today. Who are the Gemini who need to hear these messages? Queen of Cups. You know, when I was focusing on your um, energy, I kept seeing the Queen of Swords with the Three of Swords and the Three of Swords kept coming out. And now I've got the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with a heartbreaker. <clears throat> So you love somebody very much. So who is this person you love? But this person might not be the best for you. Who is the person you love, Gemini? Five of Swords, yeah. I think that King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, or you're the Queen of Swords because you've been hurt by the King of Swords with the Three of Swords and the guy in the Five of Swords holds three swords usually. <coughs> okay? So yeah, the person you're dealing with is a heartbreaker and you have a big heart, so... Yeah, that's that's not the best. King of Cups, King of Hearts, yeah, of course. Yeah, right. But he has the swords for the hearts too. So this is, yeah, this person might have air and water in their chart and so might you. Bo both of you might have a combination of mainly air and water. You could have significant air and water placements, both of you. So you're kind of mirroring this person, but this is like a narcissistic person. The Five of Swords for me is my narcissist card. And combined with the King of Cups is like a king of manipulation. That's how I see it in this uh, particular... Yeah, they're a burden. This person is a burden for you. They're causing burdens on purpose and it's like they're laughing in your face about it. Four of Wands. This person might actually be your husband. You could be married to this person or you're living with this person. Two of Pentacles, but this person has some kind of personality disorder. Yeah, I think this person's kind of like Jekyll and Hyde. They flip on you. Sometimes they're nice, sometimes they're cruel, uh, and they're very manipulative. And they could also be juggling with you with somebody else. Yeah, free. There's a third party. You might not know about this. This the other person might live at a distance. As I said, distance, these wanted to come out. The Fool also makes me think of distance, especially in this deck, the way it looks like. Nine of Swords. So, um, maybe you know about this or you can sense it intuitively. And you're very anxious over this situation. Yeah, again, I'm getting that this person is trying to cause you <clears throat> mental conflict. That they're manipulating you. Six of Wands. This person could very much be in their ego. Maybe they have a lot of fire in their chart. Yeah, this could be like an air sign with water and a lot of fire in their chart. Could be. What What's this person doing to you here? They're confusing you. What, the, what are they doing? Like I said, this is a master manipulator. And they're juggling you with other people. They have multiple uh, relationships. <clears throat> You might be on the cusp, actually, of Gemini and Cancer. You could be on the cusp. Nine of Wands. You have some trauma, I think. Either this person's abused you or you have some trauma. And this person's playing on that to keep you stuck to them. To create a trauma bond. Two of Swords. They're trying to block you. From walking away from them, from ending it. Yeah, so they're playing with your mind and your emotions a lot in order to prevent you from leaving. So this person, again, they could abuse you actually sometimes and then they're nice to you and they keep manipulating you. Or they're playing on the fact that you have some kind of trauma from before. Eight of Wands, yes. This person could be very good at talking your year off, <coughs> saying lots of things that you want to hear maybe. This person might even be doing magic on you. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so this person might give you a lot of gifts. They might be, they might have moments when they act very nurturing towards you. Maybe you have mother wounds and they know that and they're playing off your mother wounds. Yes, it's true. King of Swords, uh, Ten of Pentacles. Also, you could have father wounds. Your father could have been very cold and detached. And you, you're missing that kind of affection and warmth from your, from your parents. And this person, you might see this person as kind of a um, proxy for your parents. Most people do, even they, though they don't like to admit that. Right? So there's some kind of family issues here that are affecting your love life. And this person knows about your past. They know about your family issues. And they know how to play on that. 
and they're doing it on purpose. I'm sorry to say this, but they're clearly doing this on purpose. This person understands a lot about psychology. This King of Cups, they could be they could even be a psychologist actually, or they've learned a lot about psychology. Yes, exactly. It, it was here in the I, it's flipped over in the middle of the deck. Yes. This person understands the human heart. They un they this might be their job, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. This person could be a psychologist actually. Maybe. Or there's somebody, whatever profession they have, they really understand human emotion. And they know how to play it. That That's the thing. They don't really have emotions of their own, but they know how to play with emotions. And they know how to mimic emotions also. Free of cups. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, this could even uh, tell me that this person is doing some kind of magic too. They could be doing uh, certain spells, love spells. Um, they might be playing with potions. This could also be a doctor. Yeah, it could be a medical doctor. It could be a psychologist. Okay, so there you go. King of Pentacles. This person is very abundant. King of Cups, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. So yeah, this person is very good at what they do. And they're very good at manipulating. Oh my god, all the kings came out because I was thinking emperor. I was seeing the emperor in my mind's eye and now all the kings came out. So they, they, uh, they're good at lots of things. This person is very good at a lot of different things. But this person's deranged. They have some mental issues. Four of swords. They need healing, yeah. Six of swords. Again, more healing. Four, five, six. 46 could be significant. Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Knight of Wands. This person could have sex addiction. They might also be dealing with their trauma through sex addiction. Yeah. Their heartbreaker. Yeah, they like to have sex with multiple women and stuff. To break their hearts and to manipulate them and to keep them wanting more, right? This person could have more than one woman on rotation and they go from one to another and they play mind games with all of these women, etc. Blah, blah, blah. But they're forever single. Everybody thinks this person's single, but they have multiple relationships, actually. Oh, God. Okay, fine. Let him go. <laughs> Let him go, please. Uh, if you have a lot of cancer in your chart or you're on the cusp of uh, Gemini and Cancer, you might find it very hard to let this person go. But please let go of codependency. Learn to do it, even if it's hard. That's your lesson. If you have a lot of water in, in your chart, your main lesson in, in your life is to let go of codependency, right? And it's very hard to do that, but that's like what you need to do in order to heal yourself, right? Yeah. So I hope this helps, Gemini. Take care.